I'm Lady Red, Soul 106.3, the Midday Mood Show, and I am here with Monique Rodriguez, the founder and CEO of Myel Organics, the premier hair and skincare brand established right here in Chicago. Town. Welcome to the show, Monique. Thank you, and I like premier. I like that word. Oh. Yeah. Premier hair care brand. Absolutely, because you <laughs> Cause know we are. <laughs> absolutely, you have wonderful products. Thank I know you. so many people that use them. I use them. I just went and put a little gel on the side, <laughs> you know, to gel my little baby hair down. Well, Monique, tell us more about Myel Organics and your journey as an owner and entrepreneur. Just what my journey. I'm still on the journey. Uh, I think the journey, I, it doesn't end, but I started my Yale um, five years ago. So I've been doing it since 2014 and my background is in nursing. So I was a registered nurse for eight and a half years. I actually worked in labor and delivery and then I did home health for the last three years. But being a nurse, it wasn't my passion. It wasn't something that I was like excited to get up and do every day. Like I felt like I was in a box. I'm a very creative person. And I felt that being a nurse, it it was only one thing that I could do. I, I had to wear scrubs every day to work, wear my hair in a ponytail. But I was really passionate about beauty, makeup, hair. Um, and because I felt like I was in that box, I wasn't fulfilled. And I always say when God gives you that dream, when he gives you that vision, like it's never going to go away. And, you know, I've always had the dream to be a business owner, to be an entrepreneur ever since I was a young girl. So way before Instagram came mm -hmm. out, I wanted to own my own business. <laughs> And I just never knew how I can go about doing so. I didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs. I didn't have any mentors. So I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I just decided that one day I'm going to just step out on faith. I'm going to do what I feel God has called me to do because it's not what I was currently doing. I felt that it was just a stepping stone for me to get to where I am today. And and now that I'm actually doing what I'm doing, I see that this is what God has called me to do. And my nursing was just a part of the process. It was a part of the journey um, because I credit my nursing career for what I do today. Like it helps me with understanding the ingredients. You know, that's how I started. I started educating women on how to take care of their hair and started on social media um, with one product and I haven't looked back. Yeah and of course looking at your hair it is beautiful. Thank your you. products <laughs> definitely work because I like I said I know several people that use them and their hair is luxurious and long. So um, what is your secret sauce to success? Like <laughs> I know you have secret sauce and like so how can one do what you do? So a lot of people, when, when you hear the secret sauce to success, mm -hmm. they're like, well, what's the secret? And I feel that a lot of times we don't understand that the secret to success is us because you are in control of your destiny. Once you write out your vision, make it plain to God and pray on it, he will bless you with your dreams and the desires of, of your heart. So when people ask me, what's your secret sauce? My secret sauce is me. You know, once you are authentic and you're genuine and you're doing exactly what you have been called to do, like nobody can beat you at being your authentic self. You know, you, when you when people say, I can't go into business because it's a saturated market, I don't believe in a saturated market. I believe that you go into business doing what God has called you to do being authentic and nobody can replace that so no matter how many people see what I'm doing and they're like oh well I want to start a hair care company go right ahead because you can't duplicate me and I can't duplicate you and that's why I'm successful because I focus on me I'm aware of my competition but I just how people they say I just do me right and you know that's that's what matters stay in your lane stay in your lane so yeah, to stay speak. focused right so uh what made you uh, do hair care products? Was it like nothing was working for you and you just was like, let me do my own thing? Yeah, so, I, you know, my intention was not to create a hair product. Mm -hmm. So when I started the journey of going into business, I actually wanted to open a salon. Okay. Because, again, like my passion has always been beauty and hair and I just like seeing other women look good like I feel that when a woman knows that she looks good she's confident you know you know, 
she feels really good about herself. So I really wanted to help inspire women to look good. So I started really just doing educational content, helping them with how to take care of their hair. And I started mixing other products. I would go to like the targets and like buy different products and mix it together, make my own little concoctions because I couldn't find exactly what worked. Cause I was also transitioning from my hair too. I was going from straight to naturally curly and I was just experimenting. So I shared that journey. And then when I was mixing things, people started asking, can I buy what you're mixing? And that's what prompted me to like start because that wasn't my intention. Right. So like your your company has grown. Like I, I've, like I said, I even saw Evelyn Lozada basketball wise. Mm -hmm. She mentioned that she uses, you know, your uh, products. And of course she has luxurious hair. Yeah. What, like what advice do you have for someone out there that's actually trying to get in the business and take their product to the next level. Mm -hmm. What what kind of advice could you give to them? I would say run your race, you know, and enjoy the process. I feel that people, they want the promise, but they don't want to go through the process. Like being an entrepreneur, it's hard. Because you, when you think about being a business owner, you're thinking about like, I'm gonna live life on my own terms. I'm gonna have an unlimited amount of income. I'm gonna, you know, come and go as I please. You're asking to do like what 5% of society is doing, right? Not a lot of people have that courage to do that. And you think that's gonna be easy? Absolutely it's not gonna not. be easy. So you have to make sure that you're really passionate about what you're doing because when you start a business, you're gonna be broke for a while right and the thing is can you still do this when there is no money coming in are you still that passionate enough to keep going despite all the challenges and obstacles because i've been doing this for five years but it feels like i've been operating for 25 years from all the challenges and the obstacles that i face and when i wasn't making any money i was still doing this i still enjoy what i'm doing so you have to do something that you're really passionate about and you know, I'm big on faith and prayer. And I always say, make sure that your vision comes from God, because when you're trying to operate and do things your own way, it's not going to work out. Right. So. Absolutely. So and you said it wasn't easy. It's not. No. So <laughs> you had trials, you had tribulations, but you kept going. So that's major. Um, like, where can people get more information from you? Uh, not only, you know, here on our weekly segment, but mm -hmm. like, where can they find you and uh, you you have something that you are you say you are teaching right yeah so i have a mentorship program okay. so i have the secret sauce to success mentorship program i have a podcast that you can download on itunes and you can follow my personal page on social media it's at exquisite mo exquisite like it's spelled in a dictionary mo um and then my yell organic so that's how you can find out about everything that i have going on all my updates etc and the packaging people like when you trying to sell something marketing like 101 she has the packaging she has like <laughs> do you guys see this i just need to show the people out there you get the box in itself which you can use as a keepsake of course we all women know that we have to put stuff in <laughs> box and have junk drawers okay and it's just like really taking care of business and i appreciate stuff like this and Can I say, do I have time to say one more thing absolutely. about the packaging? So my packaging didn't always look that way. So for those that are trying to start their business and they're like, well, I don't, I can't afford packaging that looks like that. I always tell people to operate in excellence, not perfection, because what you don't, what you can't afford now, as long as you're operating in excellence, you will work your way up to get packaging like that. So if you scroll back through my pages, you will see that it was still nice. I thought it was nice. I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking? But, you know, I was still operating in excellence. So don't get discouraged if you're like, oh, I can't afford that right now. And that is massive. Like she said, operating in excellence. Monique Rodriguez, founder and CEO of Myel Organics. And she's here dropping jewels for those of you that are out there looking forward to starting your own company. Most importantly, she said it took a while and yeah. she didn't give up. You wasn't making money in the start, but you didn't give up. So we appreciate having you here. So where can yeah. they find you on, again, the podcast and social media? Yeah, so it's at Exquisite Mo on Instagram. Um, my podcast is The Secret Sauce to Success on iTunes and My Yell Organics on 
Instagram as well. And that's where they can order the products from yep. Myo Organics. Or any major retail, because we're everywhere. What, worldwide. Yeah. So this is someone that you actually need to and, and, and talk to. She's doing good things. Thank you for... Thank you. Coming to the uh, Midday Mood Show. I appreciate <laughs> you, and I definitely am looking forward to using some more of your products. I've been Thank trying you. them all. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, especially, <laughs> and our super producer uses them especially for her baby And we go to church together. So, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yes. And you see that? She said prayer. That's most important, people. God first. God okay? first, always. And I don't know if you can be as successful as her, but it's a start, okay?